It's sad but true. Animals go extinct all the time. Some of them even come back from extinction. Check out the linked video that we've got here on our list of animals that came back from extinction. But more importantly, this is our list of animals that have gone extinct since the year 2000. First, we have the Pinata Island tortoise. This tortoise is one of several varieties of tortoise living in the Galapagos Islands. Native to the northern islands of the archipelago, this tortoise was thought extinct in the mid-1900s due to a loss of habitat. The loss of that habitat was due to the influx of goats brought by fishermen as a food source. The goats were brought in, they multiplied to almost 40,000 on the islands, and then they consumed all the food sources of the tortoise. This led to its thought extinction and then its eventual extinction. A single individual, Lonesome George, was found in 1971, but eventually George died in 2012 at over 100 years old. Next, we have the Eastern Cougar. A variety of what people refer to as pumas or mountain lions, this species lived in the mountains of the eastern United States. While the western and Florida varieties of this big cat still have active populations, the eastern variety was declared extinct in 2011 after almost 40 years on the endangered list. The extinction of the eastern cougar was due to a variety of factors including hunting by farmers to protect the wildlife and a large number killed by vehicles. Long prized by trophy hunters, the ibex is a species that is clinging to existence. The Pyrenean ibex, a distant relative of the goat, was the first extinction casualty of the 21st century. After having their population decimated by hunting, the last individual of this species, a female named Celia, was unceremoniously killed in 2000 after being hit by a falling branch. A type of clouded leopard, the Formosan clouded leopard was a subspecies of this large predatory cat native to Taiwan and Southeast Asia. Last seen in 2000, researchers searched the jungles for 13 years before officially declaring the Formosan clouded leopard extinct. The extinction of this big cat was the byproduct primarily of hunting for its beautiful coat and habitat destruction. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of the latest content from the most. Our next entry is actually a group of entries. Two species of African rhinoceros have been declared extinct since 2000. The western black rhino was the first to be declared extinct in 2011, and the northern white rhino followed not long after in 2018. Both species were decimated for the same reason, poaching. Poachers hunted these beasts into extinction solely for their horns. Believed to have medicinal qualities in Chinese medicine, Rhino horns have long been prized and highly valued even though it was officially banned for international trade in 1977. The last black rhino was seen in 2006, and even though there still are two white rhinos in captivity, they're both females, so the species was officially declared extinct in 2018. Another species of rhino lost to poaching this century was the Vietnamese rhino in 2011. The last known individual of this species was found dead with only the horn removed, evidence of poaching to the very end. The southern white rhino is the only species with significant numbers remaining. However, almost all of those are in big game reserves in southern Africa. Preservation efforts are ongoing, often with rhinos being tranquilized and their horns periodically being removed to deter poachers. Some of the guys from Dude Perfect are famously seen in their Bucket List episode doing just this. There have been a number of aquatic species face extinction this century in China. The Yangtze River Dolphin went by many names, but eventually it went by the wayside being declared extinct in 2003. The first dolphin species declared extinct, this long-nosed freshwater dolphin faced insurmountable odds. Dams for power and water distribution river management for boat traffic, and pollution all contributed to the extinction of this species. Another Chinese victim was the Chinese paddlefish in 2003. Oddly enough, another long-nosed freshwater species native to the Yangtze River. The management and usage of the river also contributed to their downfall. 
interestingly enough, their long lifespan also contributed to their demise. After an initial decline with the dams being built, they were never able to recover because so few individuals reach sexual maturity. Let's end on a positive note. Our last entry is Spix's macaw, prized for their brilliant blue feathers. This species of macaw was officially declared extinct in the wild in 2019. The native of the Brazilian rainforest was known as the little blue macaw, and it was prized by trappers. They were also a casualty of habitat reduction and restricted range due to deforestation. However, the species may not be at an end just yet. Popularized by the animated film Rio, the species could make a comeback. 160 of these birds were released from captivity back into the wild in 2021. Here's hoping for a comeback story. If you're looking for more of this type of content, check out the video we've got linked here. What would you like to see next? Leave a comment below. We post weekly focusing on the best, the worst, and the most amazing content. <laughs>